I Shoot the Ambassador is a compilation of short videos and pictures of His Excellency Ambassador Ahmad D. Omar during his tenure as Ambassador Extraordinary Plenipotentiary in the Sultanate of Oman. As a correspondent for the ABS-CB and the Filipino Channel, I had a chance and the privilege to shoot and record most of his activities while executing his duties in serving our countrymen here in the Sultanate. For the benefit of our kababayans, what you are going to see is my own way of thanking our beloved ambassador for a wonderful and job well done for our kababayans. Ambassador Ahmad Omar, or Amba Omar as he is fondly called, was born in Lanao del Norte on January 13, 1948. He is married to Madame Jahara Omar and gifted with five children. He studied and graduated in the University of Manila with a degree in Bachelor of Arts, major in Political Science in 1969. He started his career when he was commissioned in the now defunct Philippine Constabulary of the Armed Forces of the Philippines in 1972. He was an integrity of BOTS 1972 of the Philippine Military Academy and a member of AFP Skydiving Team and PC Scuba Diving. He first tested his military career when he was wounded in one of the operations in Holosulu in 1973. From then on, he earned his one wounded personal medal followed by 15 military commendation medals. A dedicated and most awarded soldier during his time in the AFP, he then moved to Philippine National Police in 1991 where he got the rank of Major General. After his retirement in 2004, he was called and appointed by Her Excellency President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo to serve the Filipinos in the Sultanate of Oman. His dedication and passion to serve our countrymen was tested when the Sultanate was hit by extreme weather condition in June 2007. He is the first Filipino government official who visited our Kababayas in Kurum, which was badly damaged by Cyclone Gonu. He is also the first government official who traveled all the way to Alboraymi to comfort and give assistance to the almost 2,000 Filipinos stranded in different hotels in Alboraymi border. After solving problems in Alboraymi, His Excellency faced another bigger task as Somali pirates capitalized on hijacking ships in the Gulf of Aden. Most Filipino seamen who were victimized by Somali pirates felt secured when they met Amba Omar during the release because finally they will be home. Twenty-two Filipino seamen stranded in Matra port for almost one year found hope when their four years unpaid salaries were paid by their Taiwanese employer. An spiritually inclined individual, Amba Omar has maintained a good communication with the Filipino Paris priest, Father Raul Ramos, bridging the religious outlook of our citizens. Amba Omar kept a good relationship with businessmen who patronizes and support the Philippine products and services. Amba Omar, in cooperation with the Philippine Ladies Group, spearheaded a collection of relief goods for our kababayans who were badly hit by Typhoon Ondoy in the Philippines and supported the Valentine Project of the PLG to generate funds for the victims. 
He has maintained a good rapport with the different leaders of the diplomatic corps during his tenure. Amba Omar never stopped being an ambassador. Every day, he made sure that he is updated with all the things happening around him. He was in close coordination with the ABS-CBN Middle East News Bureau Chief, Dindo Amparo on the OFW situation in the GCC. As a journalist, I vowed to his advocacy and service to the people when he vehemently condemned the Maguindanao massacre in November 2009 and the ARG's side on the lifting of Marcelo in Maguindanao. As he knows the real political situation in that southern part of the Philippines, he is indeed a man of principle. Another milestone that Amba Omar has achieved is the reorganization of the Board of Directors for the Philippine School Oman, according to the Ministry of Education Directives. I am also sure that many Filipinos will benefit with this initiative to open the talks between Oman and Philippine government to open the Philippine skies to Oman Air. Ayon kay Ambassador Ahmad Omar, magkakaroon na ng direct flight ng Oman Air mula Muscat papunta ng Manila. He acted immediately on the repatriation of overstaying Filipino workers in Oman as part of the amnesty program offered by Omani government. He welcomed the Filipino staff from the Philippine Sports Commission who were hired by Oman government to spearhead the second Asian Beach Games to be hosted by Oman in December 2010. He also supported the All-Filipino Summer Olympics sponsored by Western Union. On the social side of Amba Omar, he supported several entertainment shows in Oman to ease the homesickness of the Filipinos. Amba Omar welcomed the ABS-CBN talent school chicks who graced the 110th Philippine Independence Day celebration in June 2008. He also supported the concert of AGS at Ramid Dream Resort in October 2009. He gave a good reception to Mr. Pure Energy, Gary Valenciano and his family in December 2009. Recently, we have seen how Amba Omar enjoyed and shared laughter and fun during a dazzling summer concert of Jed Madera and Giselle Sanchez in Alphalad Hotel last May 28. The biggest challenge that Amba Omar has faced is the reorganization of the new Filipino Community Social Club. To revive the trust of our kababayans here in Oman, Amba Omar tried his best to comply and form the new board of directors of Filcosoc so that all Filipino activities in the Sultanate will be legal. The new Filcosoc board chaired by Amelita Villamora recently took out under Ambassador Ahmad Omar. Now, it is time for all Filipinos in Oman to thank Ambassador Omar for all the accomplishments he had done for the Filipino community in the Sultanate. You have done a great job, sir. I salute you for the mission accomplished. May your tribe increase in the service of the Filipinos. Mabuhay po kayo, Ambassador Ahmad D. Omar. Maasalama. Rowan Soldivilla, ABS-CBN Middle East News Bureau, Muscat, Oman.